girl. Obviously, you know I'm Renita, and this is Sheridan, my baby. <laughs> and in this video, we are going to be doing about long distance. It's basically how we survived. It's the main question we get asked All the from time. everybody. All the time. How do you do it? So um, mm. the date, the date that we started to go out. We can you are leave. It was the first of the first, which is January the first, two thousand and twelve. Two thousand and twelve. Mm. And you know, he was begging on his knees, like, Lorraine, please go out with me." <laughs> I was like, "Don't have to think about You're it." You're just funny, <laughs> but <laughs> ah. no, no, no. Because can you can actually believe it? She asked me out, like. Okay, so, let's um, just clear something up first, mm. yeah. Okay. He asked me out a long time ago, but I was like, "Don't ask me that again," because you might get the wrong answer. Very true. I did when I'm ready. So, distance and that's how I was just thinking so, okay I, I'll leave it all right so mm -hmm. he technically asked me at first there you go all right so that was coming up to four years ago um the first time we've actually met met was 2007 Seven. yeah when yeah. I moved to Spain yeah can you believe that so I've known her ever since she's actually moved to Spain so that's eight years I've known him so knowing and going out coming up to four years it's been annoying me for eight years Lord knows. Like you don't do the same no, thing. I'm sure we need you, man. Alright. Yeah. That's just a little thing about, as we call ourselves, Sheree, as people mm -hmm. know. My name and his name get together. Matches. So, um, yeah. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points that eight we're going to go through to talk about how to successfully, I will say, yeah, <laughs> have a long distance relationship. I know a lot of people think doing a long distance is a no no like straight no mm, <laughs> but mm. when you actually find someone it, it's different you know it it's different it, it, it's, it's it's crazy how much willpower you actually put yourself and like how much you really got yourself into this you know regarding to say that however long the distance is you know because people do it from way longer than us two America, two Australia however far China, you know, around the other China. side of the world man yeah, you right. know and they do it and they're married as well you know we're not even married yet you know, so, yeah but the time's coming, but obviously it's a different thing of where we're in. <laughs> yes, right, so the first come. point is patience. Patience. That is a key thing, patience. Especially if you have certain personalities. We have to know people who are annoying. No, I, everybody knows I'm not annoying. People who know me, I'm not annoying. I can be when I want to, but I'm naturally not. He's annoying by nature, but I still love him. Patience, basically, um, you have to be patient in the sense of when it comes to booking flights, mm. number one. When you have to book a flight, you have to sit down at the edge when you're next going to see each other. Oh my gosh, I can't see you until six weeks or four weeks. The shortest we've ever done, and that was recently this year, was two weeks. We only had to wait two, two weeks. weeks. It was the best thing ever. But, but the, longest, um, the longest was five, six months? Five months, I think it was. And recently, that was the beginning. Two, and, and recently, it's just been two months. Yeah. Recently, yeah, it's been two months and that's bloody hurt. Yeah, but the five mm. months, no, we weren't even going out in that. No, it wasn't. No, 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 so no, 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 that's as long as we had to wait, so we weren't going out then. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, you've but got to have patience. Still, you've literally you've got to be together on this, calm each other down and just be like. Hundred, boy, I'm telling you, because it's the thing, you've both got to be on each other's side on this, man. You can't be on one on one. No, no, no. no. You can't have your can't own opinion yourself. about exactly you've got to put. You both come together. You've got to put your, your misses first. Okay, you know? so. Oh, yeah. Put your misses first. Oh, it's misses. Right, make sure you've got the patience. And not everybody can gain patience. It's a hard thing to actually get. I've grown to have patience throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Sure, has been growing. Bit by bit. I think bit more so with me and me, no. you've had more yeah. patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's... maybe you, when you find your partner, like, anyway, they can give you more patience. Maybe mm. long distance would be good for actually certain people. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You never know. Right, the next one is number two, trust. 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 You've got to be loyal. Trust. Trust. Honestly, trust is if you another one of the keys. Yeah. If, if you don't know, like, if you're if you're paranoid all the time, yeah. like, your girl goes out late or something like that, yeah, and when, like, party times are different over here as well, because you know how, because I'm from London as well, so you know how before... Um, parties that used to finish at like six, seven o'clock. Sometimes they do, you know, but most of the time they do. They only finish at like two, three o'clock. Yeah. So from when over here all the time, six o'clock, boom, 
you know so from when you got time like that and you know say when she needed to stay out for the whole night and you're there sleeping and she's an hour ahead of yourself as well yeah so you've got to remember that you, so it's really? longer for myself yeah. as well so you just stay on your toes like oh, you know what i'm saying what you, you you'll go through these phases you know you'll go through but you've got to have the trust though you've got to you got to hold it tight to yourself you've man. got to be you got it for both of you you can't be sitting there 24 7 thinking what is your man doing what has you got up okay i've always said this now let's not be sitting right now right because we're all human right um it's not about not just trusting your partner some people have trust issues with everybody they don't yeah. trust their friend their family whatever <laughs> no you can't be silly I'm thinking, oh, I trust my man, I trust my girl, she ain't doing... You've got to be on point, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? But be relaxed in yourself and be like, I know my man's being good. <laughs> I know my man's <laughs> being <serious>. good. <laughs> I, I have no reason He's not, not up to, to be, anything. You know, because the things about it, what it is you got to... But don't take each other's right? trust for granted, though. Don't mm-hmm. think that's an open book for you to be going, all right, my girl trusts me, so I'm going to be out doing but what I want, and she won't know. You just got to know, you know, like... You were to do anything that she can't see, just think about it. Think about the same thing that could be happening to yourself. And yeah, you she could be know. doing it. Yeah. If, said, you're, if you're doing, doing wrong, just think it. about me doing that and how would you feel in that scenario? That and go. that stops you from be, misbehaving, well, in my opinion. You know. it, Number three, communication. Honestly. That's literally the. I think that's like our number one thing in our relationship. Communication. It has been since we've just Key. known each other, even Key. when we were just friends. Key. Communication. We've, we've always got always just become Facebook, the time. Bebo, we started emails. From Bebo. Can you believe that? We were on inter- that? We, internet, internet kind of cafe when we never had internet. Even is what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm saying there were any times, way to communicate. Any there were times when I didn't have internet because of the place where I lived. Let's not even go through that. And there were times where he didn't have internet because he's dog. Up his cable. Wrapped up my cable. <laughs> so we had to go into that cafe and we didn't have more about internet than you. Oh my gosh, it's Oh such a my god, you mean that as well? You know, so the 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 actual communication level, yeah. It's really hard between has, us. has to be really, really high. Okay, well, so it is really high between us both. Sorry yeah. about that. So say it, it is really high between us both because you got you gotta put that on top of everything else to be like, right, when is that like are we next gonna speak to each other? When is that like, do we have the time to speak to each other? Because you're not there to see like what it is that she's doing through a day, so therefore you can kind of plan it round. You know, you have to do you that have to through set, your day. You have to set times. Like, so basically, with us, when we first started um, to talk, we would just do like Facebook and sometimes webcam mm-hmm. on M- MSN days. And, and then um, as we started to get into a relationship, it would be a thing we send good morning messages all the time, not even just messages, texting, voice notes. And when we don't get a voice now, when he don't send me a voice now, I'm like, hey, where's my voice now? Same <laughs> as, same as. Can you believe that? And, and normally, I'm, I'm cool with just the little text, you know? Just, I'm cool with just the little text. No, you're not. Be that, right. like no, 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 no. But before, you know what I'm saying? I was cool with just a little text. I was cool with just a little text. But yeah, things advance though. So now we send voice notes to each other. Mm-hmm. And then through the day, like before I work, or he goes to work, then, you know, we'll talk on the phone maybe just for about 10, 15 minutes. And then, obviously, of course, at night. When we don't speak at night, it's like the worst thing. Like if he's out somewhere, I've got to do something. We don't speak at night, it's like the worst thing. It's, it's we don't night. sleep properly. We don't. It's crazy. So it's you crazy. Make sure you it's do crazy. And when and yeah. communication is not just necessarily just talking on the mm. phone or what. Mm. Communicating as in when there's something wrong with you mm-hmm. or whatever, you've got to talk about your. You have to talk about feelings. Same thing. You have to. Same and thing. I keep telling him, stop being some closed book. Talk. He acts like sometimes I don't know him. Sometimes I act like he doesn't know me as well. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. But he knows when I'm not fine and I know when he's not fine. So you've got to communicate and we drill that into each other's head. Tell me when there's something wrong. You have to talk about have everything to, and anything that affects you. And the thing is about it, yeah, as much as you're thinking, oh, she doesn't need to know, you know, it's best that she don't know because what it is that you're going through, yeah, you would just feel so bored if she was to tell you exactly the same thing, yeah? So don't ever think of it as being like, you got to hide it from her. Yeah, and don't ever think like I said that it's a thing of where you can you can still sleep, you know, because sleeping's hard enough. Yeah, when, when, you, when, when you don't speak. Yeah. So when you're not even telling each other something, you're hiding yeah. something for something. It's hard. You know yeah. what I'm saying? From a distance as well. It's that. So yeah. Hard. Always talk. So, always, talk about everything. Always, always talk. Always. Okay. Yeah. So the next thing is consistency. I don't think you need to about this. Yeah, consistency. Mm-hmm consistent in every little thing you do and my consistency mainly i'm talking about is flights you have to be on point you all have to time, be on point all the, time, all the time if you know okay say you're working and you know you can do a weekend you've got to make sure you look in advance 
two, three months down the line. Okay, I'm gonna see you in February on this day and book your flight. You have to be consistent because when you're not consistent, that's when you don't end up seeing each other. And that's that's we've been doing that for four years. And that's the reason how how it comes to the thing of where. You're looking at flights now, you'd be like, right, okay, I've got the money for this one now. Book yeah? it, just book it. But then Don't you may not even have that, being able to have that time off work or anything. So, and especially when you're working as well, and your manager don't let you, let you have time off or anything, it's hard. I don't, not with it's you. It's hard. He doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but the thing is about it, it's like, from, from work down home. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm and it's, I'm it's taking time off anyway, you know what I'm saying? Bro, because I've got to see my woman, you know what I'm saying? With me, it's and easier like, because I'm a teacher, so I have all the time off. <laughs> with exactly, the school holidays, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so, so myself is actually real work time, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is jeopardising the time that I could be earning money or mm. see my woman. I'm saying so. I do. You're going to be consistent on just like picking flights or when you're going to see each other. Because if you don't, then that's when things are. It's the effort. You've got to put the effort. You can't just be like, oh, we're going to have a long distance relationship. Um, I really love him. I really love her. And then you don't see each other. You see each other once a year. What is that about? Like, you have to be on point. You have to be, I'm going to see you this weekend and then the next week and then the next day, da da da. You have to be on that. Whether you know you might go broke pocket, which we have both been really broke. We've seen each other, but money always comes back to us anyway. So it always comes back. You know what I'm saying? There, there, there are times, like I said, where if you're on their money problems as well and you're really struggling, you know, there has Find been there, there has been times I said where everyone goes through that crisis. You know, let alone say even to go see your um, your partner just for the other side of the road. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or like, you need you, some you, pictures you, 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 money. Yeah, or something like that. Oh, I need some money. Oh, I gotta take bus. No, it's the car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it really does mount down to it, yeah. So it's exactly the same with the flight, yeah. Consistent. All the time, all the time. But you gotta be on point. You've got to be. You've because got to be we, on point. You've got we to make sure that you've got that money here and then. You know what I'm saying? You gotta plan ahead. You gotta basically see into the future. A bit of um fallouts about. Not seeing each other. Yeah, and I think we're about it. But you know. But it's what makes you stronger, stronger though. So when we communicate, it's yes. talk, I'm like, no. This what makes you stronger. This what I talk about. It. All so, right. So what's the next? Next one. Compromise. Hmm. I don't feel it all the time. Hmm. That's it. That's not even just in long distance relationship. That's in the re- in relationships period. My mom always says it in marriage. Marriage, you gotta compromise compromise you see it there yes you gotta do things sometimes that you wanna you don't wanna do like i have to do things sure that i don't wanna do and he a lot of the time does things i don't wanna do but i wanna do something but that's what you do when you love somebody everything that's becomes it. selfless yeah it. in the end it's not a thing where it's like oh don't worry you just like okay because if it makes the partner happy you see that person mm-hmm. happy and start smiling mm-hmm. you and yourself become happy mm-hmm. and be like oh that's so nice it, it, it is a nice thing. It is a nice thing from when... Compromise you, you is not always a nasty result. thing. I don't think anyway. But the best thing about it, yeah, is when you do that for someone, you know, from when you do that for someone, you've compromised it already, you've spoken about it, you've ruled it out in your head and you'd be like, right, okay. It's okay, it's not that All right, bad. All right, I'm saying, it's really not that bad, do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're having... That, but still you could do this. You still kind of get around to the same point you were looking to do from before. Sometimes it's still we have been grumpy. Sometimes, 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 but... We push up lip and do. Mm, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> Stop stubborn and everything. And in the end, you eventually go around back. Okay, I'll just do it anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? She <laughs> said, so, 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 so go shop. Can't be arse, man. Oh, my baby, I'm not going to go shop, you. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go and bring it down yourself, <laughs> man. It's just, I don't even want something myself, you know. I don't even want something. But like, that's a lot. But still, oh, I'm just like. But I know we'll just make her happy at the end. Do you know what I'm saying? So I already know. It, so I'm just like, right. Because yeah. you really know once your partner's happy, you're, you're happy. happy. You're so happy. Simple. It's simple like that. It's simple like that. You do always want to stay happy, right? Exactly. There you go. All right. Okay. Um, future plan. This is a main thing now for me, really. So we have like the consistency and the effort and all that and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Now you've got to have the future plan. Why are you in a long distance relationship? Where go. is it going in the future? Are you, gonna be, are you just gonna be? Are you just gonna be dating each other just to pass by time, or are you actually serious? And it's gonna be a thing where one of you has to move. One of you has to move. See now, that's the big thing. That's the big thing, and it's true. It's true. <laughs> I am actually gonna move. You know what I'm saying? One of you has to move. Like, um, I've had enough of London. Yeah, but, we, <laughs> I say, but we spoke about it. But like, this, hold yeah. on. But you have to talk about this. Way in the beginning of your relationship. Long Do not time. wait until you've been dating for a year. 
Because when we spoke, I was all like, you know, I'm not moving back to London, yeah? Well, sorry, not London. I, know, I, know, I, know. I was back like, to England. Why, man? I was like, why? I'm like, it's a thing. like, oh, you've got to go through learning another language, the language barrier. That's that the was the beginning. Thing. And in the end, like, where he was coming to Spain all the time, he's like, oh, I can't wait. To it, I was almost saying it. Exactly. Exactly. So from when you start seeing from where she lives. Basically, find yeah, out where where the benefits will be for the other side. So say somebody's living in England, America, yeah. which one will be better for the other partner to move? There's gonna be more job prospects mm-hmm. in the other part. Like, I don't know, like fam raising family, just figure out in yourselves what you think will be better. I, so, I, I've been here enough times. I've been here enough times to know and to realize and to be like, okay, hmm, things could work. Maybe it's not just the good weather that makes you just wanna always come on a holiday. You know what I'm saying? Like literally. Like, Spain is a lovely place. It is a very nice place. So, yeah. So, like... Future plans. Future plans. Just... Always plan ahead. Make sure like you're you talking, now. though, together, which is one of the the communication. You have to talk mm-hmm. about... Even though it might sound like you're a psycho girlfriend or a psycho boyfriend talking about things already two months into relationship, like, whoa, she's already talking about kids and marriage, but you're going through a long-distance relationship. I mean, you need to be adult about this. So, um, yeah, make sure you got your future plans. Yeah. If you want to get married... If you want kids, if you're gonna buy a house, mm-hmm. who's gonna move? Make sure that it's set, right? Just make sure. Because if it's not, the relationship will go right down. And because nobody's talking about no future plans, nothing's going to work. So the worst thing about it is that however long you were in that relationship for, you like, could be doing something else. Could, you know? that's, that's could have been doing something else. Happen, you, you, you wasted that time. Like five years, and then and all then, of that. All of that. It's like, no, but I'm not moving. Well, I'm not moving. Why didn't you have the conversation before? Exactly. All of that from before. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, so the last one for us has been God. That's literally, I think, our massive thing, our foundation. That's, that's, that's the core. That's the core. The core of our relationship has you been know, God. We've literally been praying together. Mm-hmm. Just always thought, just you know, asking God just to literally guide us and make this work. Is it so easy? Supposed to be for me? She's supposed to be for me. We've, we've been praying it from the beginning since we're like <laughs> friends, really. See, and the thing about it, yeah, is that when you become to believe more in God yourself, you will see how God can really help you. You can really see how God actually answers your prayers. Even your for your, even for yourself. Like you for yourself. And then, yourself and then it makes your relationship be more strong. I mean. Yeah. You know, the Heavenly Father is the foundation in our relationship and always will be in our household. It's just that simple. So, I don't know. Obviously, if you're not Christian or that, you're not really going to be like, okay, God. But for us, God has been the foundation, the core, and the strength in really hard times. Difficult. Very, very very difficult times. times. Times when you wouldn't even imagine to say that, why is this happening right now? Why is this happening right now? But... Then you wake up and be like, I'm so glad that I have God on my side. I'm so glad I can actually speak to God yeah, personally, you, you know what I'm saying? It, All the time. It soothes All yourself so much. Like, we, I was sending him scriptures, we were voice notes, mm-hmm. and, you know, singing little gospel songs, and literally he puts peace of mind. Like, if you go through like, an argument or something, mm-hmm. or whatever, you disagree, just literally sit by yourself, give yourself time away, yep. and pray to God. And God will literally tell you what to say, and make that other person, hopefully, the hard not be the heart not be hard, and for them to hear the words that you're saying, it's not always about what you supposed to say. Read your scriptures and look, you know, comforting Bible verses that you can give to your other partner. Why is your partner mad at you, or why is your partner just mad? Period. Mm-hmm. And if you can find something that will soothe them, then you know that's one of the best things that we've had in our relationships, and it just makes us happier. And being in a relationship as well, or flying on a plane, God please protect the plane. <laughs> Because go, 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 go forbid to, to say that this never happens to any Anybody of your relatives or anything. You're playing you know what I'm so crashes or anything. Or something like that. But that's really scary. You, you, the traveling part. Pray, man. Yeah, the traveling. Pray, make sure that those rules come up from the ground here yeah, and they land right back on the ground. You know, trust me. Because if they don't, then yeah. But they will. You know, because you will pray hard. Okay, so yeah, those were the key things really that we think could help people mm-hmm. who's doing actually along this relationship. Yeah. But you. Can you actually also apply it to your own relationship? Obviously, of course, if you're both close together. Anyway, I don't think it's just only just for long distance. But okay, so those are the main things in a relationship that um, you know has helped us in being in a long distance relationship. And mm-hmm. 
if you love somebody and it don't matter how far they are make it work love is love has no distance make just so make it work if you go through your plans together and you love each other your love can work don't make anybody tell you oh they live too far that's not gonna work how's that gonna work? you get a lot of people talking to you like that like oh, you're yeah. mad oh, why yeah. would you i would never date someone oh, yeah. well you're not me so <laughs> just do what you feel is comfortable and right in your heart and you will be happy and uh, you know i hope that we've helped you this won't be one of the last videos we will be doing a boyfriend tag video where you know you can ask us questions there you go about him there about me go. about both of us together so but, um, thanks any for... any questions that you do have otherwise than what it is yeah leave in the comments said. leave in the comments leave, leave in the, in comments. the description Com yeah just leave any comments email me facebook me whatever and yeah we will do another video real soon when we see each other the question that whole lot of people actually ask how, how do, do you do, do it? it how do you do it all right so yeah thanks for watching guys remember okay. subscribe like comment share all that good stuff there and i'll go. be doing a new video next week love you guys see ya seven six five four three two one oh this new crazy mother